What's up, Devils? G Dog back with another goddamn video. And today's video, we're going over. I pulled it up, found out which video I'm next in line. And we're going over comments, questions, and concerns on the fucking all metal after 2002 is met or sucks. How does J Dog partake in evil daily? We're at 851 views three goddamn weeks ago, which is piss poor as a motherfucker. And it's got 101 comments, so pretty goddamn good on the comments. I like 100 or more, which I think part of the reason why uh, maybe people are seeing more of my videos now, stuff like that, is I just did the other day uh, po another podcast with Francisco. So go over to fucking jamming out all badass, goddamn it, and go watch the uh, podcast I did with him. It was about two hours long, and we're talking about um, how algorithm and all that other shit works, which neither one of us really knows dick about it. But Francisco. Uh, Mentioned, he's like, because you could probably get a lot of comments in your uh, inbox, and that helps uh, YouTube trying to do the algorithm. So now that I kind of know that, leave in the comments. All the more. Don't be a fucking goddamn lame -o. Fuck all the subscribing and all that shit. I mean, preferably do that too. But leave in the goddamn comments. Questions, questions, talking, get shit stern. Let's go, goddammit. Don't be a fucking shy boy, shy girl. Put, say something in there, goddammit. J Dog sucks. Something. Um, so that way they, uh, YouTube shares it with more. So that way he's got to get these fucking views at a goddamn thousand per day. Also, too, a little fun fact. I'll throw in a couple videos people see it. If any of you guys know anything about YouTube, I'm trying to with this monetization bullshit and stuff like that. I'm having a problem with my goddamn account that I cannot figure out with a fucking life of me. The um, the account, the bank account that you link up to fucking YouTube, is uh, it keeps saying, it just says unverified, unverified. And this has been going on for weeks. Uh, if any of you guys know how to fucking get it verified, uh, let me know. I got the fucking thing in the mail where you put the pin code in and all this other bullshit. So anybody that knows anything, let me the fuck know. Uh, contact me because I would greatly, greatly fucking appreciate it because I cannot figure it out for the fucking life of me. And it's making my goddamn dick itch. Anyways, not any further fucking do. I didn't review any of these goddamn comments. So let's see what the fuck we got in here. First one, none other. Human brisket. Trevette Cadet rules. Dog. Question, any classic albums you see sold through the shop that think people should already own? <laughs> you know what? At one point, I kind of thought that. Like, when I constantly see, like, Sarcophagal INRI still selling, Bath, well, the first three, four Bathories still selling. I did think that even the May, first two Mayhems, those sell all the time. Like, all the fucking time. But the way I see it is, uh, you know, there's a new devil getting in every day, and that's, that's fucking awesome. Somebody dies every day? Fuck, but dropping like flies lately, huh? People in the metal scene, too. So they go and new ones come out. Plus, a lot of people leave the metal scene, too. You know what I mean? Uh, I've seen tons of that. So, you know, getting re get kind of replacements. And so if it's 15, 16, 17 years old, they're just getting into it. Well, it's good to see that they're buying the classics. So, yeah, I can't say that they should already own it. What the fuck? He's 15 years old. He's got to, you know, he's got to start sometime. Because I was in that boat when I was buying Death Scream Bloody Gore and shit for the first time. I was That was already in late 90s, early 2000s when I was buying that shit. You know what I mean? Whatever year it was. Way after the fact. So no, I don't I don't judge it in that sense uh, at all. I mean it's funny. Uh, I just went to a show last night, Bewitcher, which it was really good. Bewitcher and Wraith. Uh, really enjoyed both bands live. Uh, I enjoyed them both on disc too, but really enjoyed them live. I seen these a lot of these. I guess they're like a new kids in Cleveland. It's like a pack of them. They're really in the tunes, mosh and shit like that. They look young as fuck, 15, 16, 18 to twenty at the absolute highest. Like they can't even be old enough to drink. But they were at the Spider Show too, just going fucking crazy. So it kind of reminds me of what your question says. It reminds me of them. Like, hey, they're fucking new. They're young. They're extremely excited, which is fucking awesome because they're basically the future. You know what I mean? You got to don't want this scene to die off. You got to get the fucking younger devils getting into it. So, no, I definitely don't judge it. I see them come in. I say, fuck, yeah, check out the classic. God damn it. Fuck the new shit. No, I mean, not fuck the new shit. Fuck the new shit first. Get the oldies and the classics first so you know your roots and where things started. And then go to work your way up to the newer stuff. I mean, kind of, I mean, takes time. So kill two birds with one stone. You can buy the newer set at the same time. Because I know it's cool to pick up a new release when it came out for your time that you're there. But don't neglect the goddamn classics. Goat man, goddammit. Do you think you would be able to beat the ultimate Sith Lord? The ultimate Sith Lord, who the fuck is that? Himself, Jason Genova. Oh, that fucking canoe. In any bodybuilding competitions. Also, if you had the chance to do a meet to meet him, would you get a picture? No, I can't stand that motherfucker. As far as uh, would I beat him? I can't. Let me let me bring him up. Last time I remember seeing him, I'll give you my honest opinion. Let me see if there's any photos. 
when I seen videos and stuff of him, he doesn't. I mean, he didn't look like anything impressive whatsoever. Ever, Grant, this guy's. I don't want to use the words you can't fucking use, but AKA fucking a total forest gum. So let me see what he looks like. There's one photo here. He looks pretty good in this. Uh, I think him and I, but I'll just based off this one, see how some of these photos, he looks like fucking dog shit. Another photo here looks like dog. I mean, I don't know if this one photo is, I just Googled it and just put in Jason Genova. It's the second photo over. He's got a big glare on it. He's hitting like a most muscular. First photo, he's posing down with somebody. He looks very, very fucking mediocre average in there. Oh, here's a state. What the fuck? Uh, is a stage shot, which he looks pretty shitty. He's between two other guys. The one guy on the, my left is fucking absolutely just, he's, I, he's got no business even standing next to the guy. The guy looks a million times better than him. I don't know how they're qualifying in the same goddamn show. So I'm seeing hit and miss here. Crap where he looks absolutely deplorable. Doesn't even look like he lifts. But the second shot from the uh from the right, he might uh he might me and my best and hit him there. I I it would be it'd be competitive. It'd be that'd be a good that'd be a pretty good match. So uh, but I've never seen him look. I'm surprised he even looked that damn good. So uh that that'd be a reasonable uh, comparison though. But yeah, I can't personally not stand that guy. I think he gets a the crap he gets away with and shit. Another box of chocolate boy that fucking just needs to go away. Fucking abusing his goddamn uh, status. And he's fully aware of what the fuck he's doing. It's not because he doesn't understand. Or he just, he's got a mental disability, j Dog. She's got to be nice. No, he knows what the fuck he's doing. He's fucking people's lives. And he's fucking slapped upside the head. So, no, I would definitely not get my picture with him. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even go, I wouldn't even go talk to that guy. Personally, like, honestly, the little I've seen of him, I, God damn his phone. I literally can't stand that dude. He's everything that's wrong with this fucking with today's society. Guys like him. And just looking for the next question here while I'm rambling. Devils. Tommy Boy, hey, what's good, J Dog? What non metal band or album do you really like? Answer this like 10 million times. Um The Punk and Hardcore scene, that's about all I can think of. Um Misfits. You know, negative approach, um, all the a lot of the horror punk stuff. That, but as far as I'm trying to think, is there like, um, do you guys consider like ACDC at all heavy metal, um, or do you consider that classic rock? I kind of consider uh, I, I could flip a coin; it go either way. But Back in Black, Down, I like. Uh, I do like some of the ones after Back in Black. Those about to rock, aka those about the snore. I'm not a big fan of that one. But Flick of the Switch, I remember it being pretty good. Fly on the Wall, pretty good. Even though no one really talks about those albums, I thought they were definitely better than those about the snore. But uh, my favorites would be Highway to Hell and Back in Black. So if those are classic rock albums and not metal albums, then those. Um, as far as just al full Allen albums, yeah, that's all I can think of. From N2 DV D Void. N2 D Void. Shout out to you, Bravo. He looks kind of familiar. So, J Dog got a question. Nunslaughter has put out releases with different logos. Which Nunslaughter logo do you like the best? I like uh, I like that picture logo. But that's what they call it on the site uh, for the shirts we sell. Picture logo that Eric drew. Thought that was really cool, but they rarely use it. I'm looking over at today's shoe. Is that a seven inch picture disc? The shaped seven inch picture disc? Because I have one of those on my wall. Can't tell from here if that's it. It's really where it's at. Like that logo as far as common logos I use. I like the Hells and Holy Fire logo and I like the um the uh what the fuck do they call it? With the uh two inverted cross at the end logo. It's usually in red, some of red or white, uh, but it's a stretch logo and each end's got an inverted cross. Probably those two, as far as their normal logos they always use. <laughs> the accuser. I love how before this video there there's a Slipknot concert commercial. Oh, really? Is there? I didn't even know that. I think it goes by because I get a lot of um, fitness, bodybuilding, supplements, um, health stuff, medical stuff, checking your blood work, all those kind of ads. That's what I get because it goes by, you know, the bots or whatever watching you. You know, Big Brother's watching you. Yeah, they, and that's what I love. Don't even get me started on that. 
Uh, Big Brother's watching it. People are all worried. No shit, he's watching. He's been watching this for the last 20, 30 fucking years. But, I mean, unless you're doing anything illegal, he doesn't give a fuck what you're doing. So, who cares? But in that case, it's almost kind of a good thing because now you're getting advertisement to what they think is going to be somewhat appealing to you. As opposed to, like, it's I'm not going to get, like, a Mariah Carey ad because it's like, well, if they see this guy, there's no way this guy's going to care about that. So, sounds like you might be uh, viewing something that uh, they think you like Slipknot, brah, brah. But that is kind of funny, the irony of that. That's the idea. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Layla Lover 90. If a band you like asked you to be in their music video, but they did not pay you, assuming it would not cost you any money either, would you be in one? Yeah, sure would, dude. Um, that was in Reaper's video. I didn't get paid a penny. So Every time I was on the show... Uh, um, Hellcast, I didn't get paid for that. If I go on Francisco's show, I don't get paid for any of that shit, nor do I think I should or ask to or would ever even consider consider that. But, you know, so I've, done, I've done favors like that for shit for you all the time. So, yeah, video. Uh, the Nunslaughter God video, uh, I helped, you know, production in a sense, I guess you could say that. Just went there and helped out. Um, I didn't get paid for that. You know, so, yeah, I definitely would. Like, Candle Corpse, I had to do a music video. Get it? I mean, uh, but, yeah, I wouldn't pay. Like, I'm flying myself out their expenses and shit like that unless I was kind of making, like, a trip slash um, kind of like vacation out of it than that would, but not just me fly out on my own dime just to do that. And that's no, f I'd tell them to fucking pound salt. I'm not, not paying my way. But uh, if it was, yeah, no charges to me, yeah, I would do it for free for sure, 100%. Uh, Ricky Jones. Jada, what are some of the most unique style of vinyl packaging that you have? Meaning different types of cover packaging. <laughs> Not to toot her own horn, but for the most part, mainly one's Hells has done in the past. The Nunslaughter Thronium uh, split 7-inch with the hologram cover. Uh, some of the die-cut covers, whether it be Slaughter, Fucker Death, the Toxic Holocausts, the Manicore. Um, a few others, I'm drawing a blank. The Nunslaughter Burn the Cross 7-inch. Um, a lot of them would be Nunslaughter. The Nunslaughter Maggots fucking uh, die-hard version with the maggots inside the cover, the laminated cover. Um, that uh, one by New Nuclear War Now, the, the, what is it, Sabat Triple Six? Triple Six, I guess, call it a box set. That was really nice and elaborate. That's an early um, Nuclear War Now release. I still own that. Really, really nice. Um, there's some for you, goddamn. Just give you a handful. This is the one pop right into my mind. Big Groovy Capone. No, Big. <laughs> can't even fucking read. Big Gravy Capone, <laughs> and I don't recognize you, Brah so welcome to the channel, God damn, and keep on commenting, God damn it. Questions, preferably. Yo, j Dog, thoughts on SKA? Ska? Is that, what, I don't know, what the fuck is that? I, I know a lot of death and black metal heads that are into the, the, the two-tone, so I'm assuming Ska, SKA's a band? two-tone, and even the revival stuff. Most of it isn't for me, but I was wondering if you like it. I literally have zero clue what you're talking about, bro. So, uh, yeah, Devils, let me know. Let me know what J-Dog's missing out on that he needs to be schooled on. We all know J-Dog's the first to admit that he doesn't know anything by any fucking stretch. In fact, he actually knows fucking very little, to be honest with you. So, when he needs to be educated, he needs to be educated. So let me know. What the fuck is that? Gorehound. Cuts going... What the fuck? Cuts going well. Oh, I say the cuts going well. Although I've lost a lot of mass in my shoulders and arms, I think that's mainly down to genetically where fat is displaced. Thoughts on the matter? Yeah, I mean, it's, if you've never done a, a cut and you diet down to get very, very lean, single digit body fat, you may not be as big as you fucking think. As a matter of fact, I would say ninety five percent of guys fall into this category. Uh, probably women too, but they kind of don't care. They can be used more so the scale. They'll get fucking skin and bones. But guys are like, yeah, I'm 240. I'm like, dude, and I'm looking at him. I'm like, bro, if I dive you down, you're a buck 70. Literally a buck 70. I'm not, I don't got that much fat, dude, like 15 pounds. No, like, because I know, because I bulk and I cut every fucking year. From my heaviest at 240, I dropped 30 pounds. And at 240, especially first thing in the morning when I first get up, my abs are still visible. I mean, they're very, very washed out and faint and fucking... Not separate, but you could still see the visible outline of where the top, especially the top four. You could see them even at 240 pounds. And I lose 30 pounds from there. And I'm not contest rip, definitely single digit body fat when I get down to that. 
for sure single digit body fat. I'd definitely be I'm I'd definitely single digit body fat even as we speak now. So I'm like eight weeks in the diet, eight, nine weeks. Uh, but probably like nine, nine and a half towards the upper end of the single digit. So when you lose that kind of weight, so when I see them and they have no abs whatsoever and I see shit hanging over the side of their pants, I'm like, dude, for you to get peeled, yeah, you got 60, 70 pounds to lose. Seriously. See it all the time. I matter of fact, I should just in my gym today. One guy, and I didn't say nothing because I don't I don't overstep my boundaries. This guy was weighing himself and he's like, uh, one dude's, hey dude, yeah, you look like you lost weight, you're looking uh, you looking thin and shit like that. He's like, What's so what's your weight at now? I don't know what he came down from. He's like, Yeah, I'm at two ten now. And uh he's like, Yeah, I figure I'll probably get to about 198 and uh other than that i'll probably be losing too much muscle be too much i'm literally looking at this guy and i'm like dude you literally have another 40 to 50 pounds to lose if you want full detailed abs literally 40 to 50 pounds well what the fuck i'll be at like 150 160 pounds yeah yeah i mean you're not big at all i'm looking at you like lose muscle what muscle you even got any muscle on your body brah like you got no muscle to fucking lose i'm, I'm literally looking at him like what the fuck like 12 more pounds? Like, it doesn't even look like you started dieting. Like, what the fuck are you even talking about? So, just to answer your question, yeah, you just may have not have as much muscle on your body as you thought, just more body fat than you thought. Sometimes it's depressing. My first one, I wouldn't say I was depressed. I mean, when I did my first, very first cut about, it was about 10 years ago, because I basically just always was trying to get bigger, bigger, bigger for the first five years. I never did a diet. Yeah, my first one, it was 10 years ago. And, uh, I definitely kind of fell in that category, but I kind of knew that going in because I remember that was actually Dave Palumbo's line. So a lot of guys think they have way more muscle than they do when they get he's like when they get peeled down. You see, oh shit, I'm not that heavy. You're damn sure ain't. Um, so I kind of knew that. I remember that line. So I was just like, ah, fuck it, let's just see how lean I can get. Whatever number I've landed, at, I land at. And uh, so I kind of knew going in. But yeah, it is. It is like holy shit. I had that much fucking weight to lose. Like, like I did. I mean, I'm not even considered. A, I wasn't even considered a fat guy. I was like, yeah, you'd be shocked. So, yeah, that's probably what it is. Just your body fat was higher than you thought. You just had more body fat than you thought. And it's, uh, it's what it is. You know what I mean? Live and learn. Abby Simmons, Tales from the Morgue, was released in 2010 and is an absolute masterpiece of Swedish death metal. You got that right, God damn it. It's, was it 2010? I was thinking it was a little earlier than that. But, uh, yeah, sounds about right. I was thinking 09, 08. But, yeah, absolute masterpiece. Uh, the Tomb of Weights was released the very next year and is even better in some ways. They have several other great albums, too. They sure do. I, I like actually every album, but the last two were definitely my least favorites. I'll bet you anything the guy who thinks everything in, after 2002 sucks is in his mid-50s. Yeah, probably that. Or he just... Um, dude, most of the people... I mean, me and Francisco had that discussion. I mean, he has his song, Time Reveals All Posters, that he really always likes to bring up. And he's right, dude. I can honestly say, man, most, I'm not going to throw out fucking names, but I know people that are, well, put it this way, pretty much everybody watching this channel, like, knows who I know who they are, and they would fucking know the names I'm throwing out there, that they're, I consider them out of metal. They'd be offended as fuck if I said it. I'm like, dude, you don't buy records anymore. You're pretty much selling your collection. You don't, you don't go to shows. Like, you don't do, I mean, you, you, I mean, I'm sure you probably still listen to what you listen to as a kid, but that's about it. I mean, to me, you're, you're, you're out of fucking metal. And, uh, it's, yeah, once you get in the five, 30s, 40s, like you said, 50s, very few last, very, very few last. It's what I told you guys all the time. You check out all these other guys in their 40s, 50s, 99 times out of 100, they're just listening to classic rock and shit because that's what they resort back to. They're burnt out or whatever on death metal. It's what it is. It's not me talking shit. It's not me saying I'm better than them. I'm not saying I'm more cavalt. Not saying they suck. I'm not saying I don't like them. I'm not saying we can't be friends. None of that. I'm just calling it as a factual statement. They just get out of this. They're burnt out. And they're just, they're listening to fucking ZZ Top and what, Nazareth and whatever the fuck else. They're just, you know what I mean? Just classic rock. That's, that's literally what they're listening to. They're not into this for the most part anymore. There, but there are some uh, guys that are, that just still are uh, passionate about it. And are, there definitely is. But they're, you took all the guys, if you took 100 guys at that age group, like if, let's say at 30, let's say they got into this in the teenage years. Age, let's say about eight by age 30. Let's say they got into this at age 15, age 30 and up. Take 100 guys and girls, maybe 20 are stu still super passionate about it. Um, when I say get out, I'm not saying completely like they're listening to Tupac and fucking Taylor Swift. Not to that degree, no. But they're not, they're not buying records anymore. They're barely fucking go to shows. They're not excited. 
when they're one on one in their car and shit, they're not listening to fucking dismember or anything like that. They're listening to goddamn just regular the radio or they're listening to fucking podcasts or talk shows or just fucking bullshit. They're not listening to death metal, black metal, grindcore. So, yeah, I would say 80, 80, 80, 20% of them remain. 15 to 20% of them. So out of those goddamn um, 100 people, tell you what, after the age of 30 and above, 15, 20 are still going to be super passionate, excited, buying shirts, going to shows, buying records, excited still, like they were when they were 15, 16. After that, they get into normal stupid shit in life or whatever else, all these boring ass fucking things in life people like and whatever, possibly going to church on Sundays. Just, just, Totally fucking gay shit, in my opinion, but whatever. They get out of it because I guess that's more cool than metal, I guess. You know what I mean? Which is unfortunate. And I've even, like I said, seen my own camp of people that I know. And it's just, you know, it's their life, do what they want. But it's kind of a fucking bummer, especially when you kind of like, you know, you're close to them and stuff like that. But um, it is what it is. You'll experience it. So all you young butt devils out there. Will you be the one next in fucking line? Will you be in this fucking 20 years from now? Hunter, are you watching? Probably only 20 you will. So which one's going to be the true survivor, God damn it. Just ask yourself, well, let's see. You know what I mean? So that's it for this one, devils. Comments, questions, concerns, you know what to do. Leave them in the goddamn fucking comments. Like, I want them, like I said earlier. Comments, 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 comments. J-Dog, you're full of shit. I'll be in this when I'm 62 years old. J-Dog, you're fucking a balding goddamn Dumbo. J-Dog, Jason Genova, whoop your ass. Questions, anything. Don't give a fuck. Comment, 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 comment. Let me know on that goddamn fucking uh, verification bullshit. Can't figure it out. Later. See you in the next one. God damn it.